Here is a problem that you should be aware of with high lumber prices and people trying to substitute some things for other things that might not work. And one of those things will be mixing conventional standard lumber and engineered lumber for your floor framing. For example, if I'm going to use 2x12 Douglas fir construction lumber for the joist and engineered TJI blocks, then you're probably not going to have a problem if everything is 11 and a half inches. However, that is not going to be the case if the joists shrink. And trust me, I've seen 2 by 12 joists shrink 3 eighths of an inch. And with the scale model here, I dropped it a quarter of an inch. And along with the lumber shrinking, you're going to put all of the pressure from all of the weight above on these blocks, and they might not be able to support the load above. Along with the fact you're going to end up up with squeaking floors because as the lumber shrinks it will either need to pull up away from the top of the framing plates or pull down away from the plywood providing you with a gap like this and for most of you familiar with lumber shrinkage this is going to create a squeaking floor because there will be plenty of room for the plywood or the sheathing to move up and down and rub up against the nails. And this is bad enough when we're using construction standard lumber. We don't need to make it worse by mixing the two. And now for those of you thinking to reverse the situation and use truss joists for the floor joist and conventional lumber for the blocks, you're going to end up with the opposite effect. As the blocks shrink and the joists don't. And again, something like this is going to put all of the pressure on the truss joist. And if you don't have any webbing in here, you're going to end up with more problems as the truss joists start to deform, and in some cases they could fail. And as the lumber shrinks, it can either shrink and leave a gap on the bottom or shrink and leave a gap on the top. Or in some cases, it can shrink a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the top. And even though a floor like this won't be squeaking because you're not going to have any separation here, you're still going to be dealing with all of the weight on top of the joist instead of the rim. And I know that you're thinking, hey, wait a minute, instead of using blocks, I will use a full length piece of construction standard lumber. Well, that might provide you with a little more support, but you're still going to have a gap that could create additional stress on the individual joist that would be carrying all of the weight. So let's go ahead and follow instructions from your engineer or the manufacturer of the products. And now might be a good time to point out for those of you milling your own lumber that you can end up with even bigger problems depending upon whether or not you've allowed the lumber to dry out enough to where shrinking lumber will not be a big problem. So the moral to this story will be to avoid using lumber that can shrink a little more than lumber that isn't going to shrink very much.